Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. Back with more Don't Starve. Start of day five. I was running around the campfire the whole night, if you remember the last episode. Um, lots of ponds. Lots of ponds. So they added the eels. I think, I don't know if it's these ones or the undergun ones. I don't know which one's considered the, the wild one. Because uh, that's what it says in, a, in the changelog. The wild ponds now yield eels. So I'm guessing these might be considered wild because they're on swamp territory. So let's just go keep exploring. Look at all those rabbits just together. So we're going to follow the nice paved road and see where it leads me. There's so many rabbits. I've never seen so many rabbit holes together. It's amazing. Excuse me. Uh, so... I wonder how long this place actually is. I mean, this road. I haven't explored that area, right? Oh, look at that. I can't believe I didn't see that. This is a nice rock biome, it looks like. Let me just take a quick look at it and see if I'm correct. Um, it's going to be to the left, right? Yeah, it's going to be a rock biome. Okay, I guess I'm going to go here. And, um, ah, uh, it's not a rock biome. It's just a little part of it. All right, let's go back. I wanted to follow the nice, um, eh, shut up, rabbit. The pavement one, let's go, happens. So, I think if you use a pitchfork... Wait, 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 wait. Is this it? Is this it? Uh, well, there's a couple of them. I might as well get it. <gasps> what is that? Is that another touchstone? No way. I... Have I put... I found two touchstones already. Where's the other one at? I know there was one here. Hold on. I, I, I know I clicked one. So, one here? So... There's two touchstones I found. I, I had no idea that they could be that many in the world. Now, I have a couple of questions. What happens if you die? Do you go to the first one or the last one you picked up? So here's a nice mine. Um, this could be a place to live. I just have to make sure I find nice food sources or this place is like dead to me. Still don't have a shovel. Look at all the graves. There are so many graves. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find a gear in one of these things. The percent chance for a gear to fall from one of those graves is a four point something chance, but it's pretty low. Pretty low. If you had a pig king, you can make do with all those and uh, trade them all in for gold. So my berries are starting to rot a little bit. Um. I said I was going to follow the pavement, but right now, I'm trying to find if there's a place to live around this area, because this is looking good. I have 10 gold nuggets. I'm going to grab a lot more. Oh, man. Dude, I have 103? Oh, no. I accidentally made another twig stack. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to make more room, so I'm going to stack that and drop these, sadly, but got to do it. And let's check if everything else is good. Okay, I don't have any wasted inventory space, it seems like. There is a lot of rocks here. This is a great place to stock up on stuff if you don't want to go to the mining underground. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I should be wasting my time going this way. Look at so many graves. Alright, let's go back. I'm pretty sure this road might end soon, and it's going to lead to a huge pig village. It'll be great. I have 40 rocks. So I literally have all the items I need to build to, you know, to build all my starting gear. So I'm going to build a science machine, alchemy engine, backpack, hammer, um, and then a couple of gold tools, and that'll be great. So let's head back to the road, which is going to be just straight right from here. And I have to break these ones down, because... I just can't resist the free gold. I don't know. So at least there is a point to mining these ones as opposed to these ones. For this one you get gold, rocks, and um, flint. For these ones you get rocks, flint, and niter. Which I've never used before. I still don't know what the heck its function is. Oh god. Oh, can't waste time anymore. It's almost the end of the day five. Uh, I'm not running out of food though, so that's good. Alright, so, wait a minute, is this another Splunk hole? There's two Splunk holes right next to each other, it's pretty funny. Alright, so hit, let's head back to that road. This is a nice touchstone though if you die. Huh. I'm very picky with where I want my character to live, but I, I, I just always regret it later on, you know? Alright, let's pick it up till I get... 99 grass, but I bet J1. 
All right, 97. Keep going. Excuse me, rabbit. It's getting late. I need to make a fire. Da -na -na. My garden is not even halfway to perishing yet, and it's doing it's it's doing a wonderful job keeping my sanity high up. All right, lots of bees here. I mean, I don't really have to live near a Splunk Hole. I just want to be like relatively close, cause it's not like I'm gonna make it a regular thing, going in there back and forth. But what I want to do is, um, you know, make long trips over there. Um, come on, let's see what this road takes. Yes, look at this. I found Chester. Great, very awesome. So where's Chester at? All right. So I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna just put him stuff that I'm not gonna potentially use right now, like the papyrus. I guess that's it. Let's keep going. Let's see if this road takes me. Come on, road, lead me to civilization. That'd be just awesome if it did. <sighs> Almost the end of the day. It's day six, all I'm doing is walking around. I mean, if I really, really want to do a speed run to the ruins, I could just. Oh, wow. Is this a. I found a pig king. Alright. This is it. This is a good place to live. This will make use of all of the junk that I find in the uh, graveyards down here. And it, okay, it's not really that far from the Splunk Holes. And there's a million bees here. So what we're going to do is try to see if there's any silk, you know, areas for silk around here. But, okay, I know I'm going to live here for sure. I'm going to try to live off bees and junk. So this will be my main base and we'll run around every once in a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a base here. Let's go ahead and make a fire pit right here. So it's a little bit farther than wait for most of my stuff, but it'll be okay. Um, cause I I'm right now I'm in the biome where there might be some spiders around me, so that'd be good. I don't want them too close to my pigs too, cause like I said before. Oh look, there's a spider. Okay, so I can get silk here for sure. So there's gonna be lots of bees. Okay, this, this is gonna be great. I know exactly what I want. So I'm gonna start building my stuff. I'll build a scythe machine anywhere because I'm gonna potentially I'm gonna end up breaking it down anyway. So I need um, logs, which I don't have that much in stone. So okay, okay. The next day, what we're gonna do is tame these pigs, and we're gonna cut down a lot of trees so I have a lot of wood to last me a while. So let's go ahead and start eating. Um, so I guess with the scythe machine right now, I'll just make like immediate backpack and junk. Two. Three, four. Yeah, we'll make a backpack. And we'll make a couple of traps. Because they're so easy to make. And I can go ahead and farm the spiders. Because right now I can't tame the pigs. Because I don't have any monster meat. So this will last me a while. So let's go ahead and cook with the red caps and see what they do for me. Um, one health, negative 10 sanity. So basically this is so useless. So useless unless you put them in a crock pot. The only thing that's really good are these green caps, which gives me 15 sanity. So these berries are really going stale. I have to cook them now and eat them as soon as I can. Because the usefulness just goes away. So look at that. I'm running out of grass. Well, I thought that was 25. It's 75. I have a lot. Never mind. I'm not running out at all. But I just have to make sure to keep it up. Because there's going to be a time when I can't, um, I won't be able to uh, pick up grass as much as I can. Pitchfork, torch, um, anything I just need to make right now. Guess I'll make a grass suit. Oh, that's the one mod I don't have on, that's right. Um, I forgot to add the one that puts a, you know, a pack back and an armor slot, but it, it wasn't updated yet. So, yeah, let's put all the food back in there. I don't know what I was doing. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna farm some spiders. Stay there, Chester. Wow, look at these guys. They're heading all the way out there. There's a lot of pigs. There's a lot of pigs. I, I don't think I... Wait. Oh, I'll just put them right here. I'll just put them right here. This will help them fight. Alright. There's a couple of graves here as well. So what we're going to do is tame a couple of these guys. There you go. I know if you, I know you, you shouldn't give them monster meat, but it's the first time I've seen these guys. And really, monster meat is the worst thing you can give them. So let's go ahead and do this. 
Let's go cut down some trees. We'll, we'll do it around this uh, the nest little area here. So uh, if I do fight them alone soon, they won't be in my way. Alright, let's chop these guys down. Come on, look at these names. <laughs> it's Romulus. And then what's the other guy's name? Commodulus and Matt. Oh, that's hella funny. Alright. These guys are quick. Alright. So I have enough stone, but right now I just need enough log. And I might as well grab at least the 99 stack before I uh, can stop farming it. Uh, there is a lot of spider dance here. I'm gonna get silk like up the wazoo, it's gonna be great. They killed about three, but I still haven't got any yet. Alright. This is this is not a bad place to live. I'm I'm not, I'm not lying. This is not bad at all. So what we're gonna do is um We're gonna live for a bit, we'll see what happens. It's really gonna suck when I go in the underground and I don't have that mod that adds the backpack plus armor. Kill tree! I might have to, because I don't know if I want to use that. I'm going to have to use the headlamp, which is going to take away from the uh, armor on my helmet. I don't know. I, I Hopefully, by the time I actually do find the underground, I mean, by the time I start heading down there, I'll have that mod already. So we're just going to keep on chopping these down. I just want to clear out the area so it's easier to fight spiders. I mean, it's not that hard already if you lure them away, but it just, it looks, it doesn't look good. Where'd that other pig go? Oh, he's behind the tree. Good. Good grief. Got lots of logs. There we go. What the heck? That was weird. Hmm. You can do it, guys. I believe in you. I'll just chop these down. I mean, if they kill the pigs, that's good for me, too. I mean, the pigs will respawn, and I'll get a free meat. I think... I don't know if they do drop mo and if the pigs drop like pig meat, like uh, pig skin. Still no silk. Uh, the drop rate for silk sucks. I mean, if it was high, it'd be OP. I can't believe I still haven't found any of the tree guardians yet. The percent chance for those guys, um, what's it called? The percent chance for the big old tree guardians to pop up, I think, is around. 4% when you chop down any single tree. I mean, I, I guess I'll get a lot of silk later on when these things become a level 3s and we can just break it down. Um, but I'm not sure how I'm going to actually... Oh wow, if it upgrades, the pigs come back. Oh wow. Two, three, four, five. Oh my god. These pigs are gonna get their butt knocked out. We need to get rid of these trees. If the pigs do die, that, that's cool. I mean, I have these extra traps here. Almost the end of day six. I think that other pig died already. Cool, silk. Nice. Lots of pig meat. I mean. Uh, I could give them, like, I don't know. Wait, you guys aren't going to go home yet, right? Okay, I'm assuming the other pig died already. <laughs> There's only two left. And um, there's no evidence of him because the, the spiders probably ate it. That's totally fine. So I have 68 log. I have enough, so I can go ahead and build everything I want now. Build that science machine. Just pick these up before I head back. You move so slow in this area. Huh. So it still shows there's tons of trees because the log thing is still here. And I'm too lazy to actually waste my shovel and do that. So let's go ahead and uh, dig this up and see what we get. Bam! Oh! It would, it would be a ghost. So, um, let's go ahead and fight it. Okay, if they don't hit me that much, as long as I have my grass suit on, I'll be, I'll be okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That sucks. I have to go back to the um, the attack of putting down your backpack when you fight because I don't have that mod installed. Okay, so I dug up the thing. What we're gonna do now is mine this. 
because I added that one. I don't know if you can do this. I don't even remember if you can do it without the mod. Um, dim bones, but I can break this down now. I usually get a gem. Red gem. And I think you can get a gear from that. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and pick the rest of these up. I still have a little bit of time in the day. I don't have to run back just yet. Because um, I want to, like, to preserve your time and make use of everything. You kind of want to stay out as much as you can. And look at that nighttime, though. It's not even going to last. Not even going to last two minutes. Or maybe, like, two minutes exactly. But Okay, so I have two silk. Um, two silk. Hmm. So there's a lot of stuff I can do with the silk. Um, I don't know if I really want to rush into making a, you know, a nice bee thing, or I can go ahead and um, what's the thing? Make the bug net and capture fireflies to start making the miner helmet. I can do that. Well, we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. What's up, man? All right, Chester. Let's go ahead. Oh, it'll 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 be like pretty awesome to see if Chester follows me in the underground too. Because I've never actually picked up Chester when I've explored the underground. I'll be crazy to see what happens. I guess we'll cook these. Eat these. And let's go ahead and I need to make four. Okay, um, four boards. And other thing. And three of these. Two, three. Science. I think I, okay, I made one more accidentally. That's fine. Now, let's make a tool. Let's make the hammer, which is two rope. So, I guess right now I'm just gonna, you know, collect all my stuff and make everything that I usually do. So, for now, I'm gonna have to end it here. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps so much. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. Make sure to come back for more daily. Don't start. Become a moblin today. I'll see you guys next time.